And today, very happy to have a guest that we've not had on the program before. She is Jill Swarner. She's with the NCTC Honors Program. Jill, welcome to the program. Thank you. It's good to have you here. Tell us a little bit, for those that don't know, uh, what is the Honors Program? Explain it to us. Well, the Honors Program is for students who are wanting a challenge. They are intellectually curious. They've shown some propensity for academia. They've done well enough to earn at least a 3.0 GPA. Honor students are sometimes right out of high school, they're 18 years old, or sometimes they're grandmas. Um, we get all different types of students at all different stages in life, but the thing they have in common is they want something more, they want something more out of life, and they're willing to work a little bit harder for it. What, uh, what are the advantages? Why would, why would a student want to come in and be an honor student? Well, I, what usually happens, it starts with a desire to get something that's going to help them, to help put them ahead. Mm -hmm. So they want that designation on their transcript. They want to be able to put on their resume that they're an honors graduate or that they're in an honors program or that they did an honors project. But what's interesting is they get in for that reason and then what happens is really hard to describe, but it really changes who they are. Mm -hmm. A lot of times it changes the way they see the world. It sometimes changes what they want to do career-wise. It gives them critical thinking skills. It helps them to be better writers, better communicators. And so it really changes who they are as a person and really just hones their skills, really helps them to focus and clarify on what they want to do. And I would imagine that does help those that are going on to the next level to have higher education at the university level. Absolutely. Um, we have formal articulation agreements with UNT, TWU, Austin College, UT Arlington. And so students who start in our honors program can then do a seamless transfer into the honors colleges there. And of course, all of this involves uh, scholarship money, uh, not only for doing honors work, but then additional scholarships just for academic achievement. So yeah, it helps them in that specific time that they're in school to earn scholarship money, and then it helps them to get ahead and be more competitive in the workplace. All right, and uh, the honors program now, uh, Correct me if I'm wrong, and I'm often wrong, so uh, it's tied in with Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society, right? It is. Well, I just happen to be the advisor for both, and Phi Theta Kappa comes under the umbrella of honors. It is an honor society, an honors organization. So all that's required of membership in Phi Theta Kappa is to earn at least a 3.5 GPA. It's a pretty high GPA in at least 12 hours. Phi Theta Kappa is the International Honor Society for two-year college students. Mm -hmm. So our students, when they join Phi Theta Kappa, they can either join in name only, and again, just have that designation on their diploma and on their transcript, or they can be active as leaders and attend leadership conferences, network with other community college students. Again, great scholarships in Phi Theta Kappa, and when you transfer to a four-year, you have a lot more scholarship opportunities. All right, let's talk about uh, another special program that you've started at the college in uh, conjunction with honors, and that is uh, Commit to Complete. Tell us about that program. This is something that Phi Theta Kappa, a campaign that they organize, and community colleges all over the world are doing this campaign, and it's, it's pretty exciting because we know that college graduates can earn as much as $8,000 more in a year and about $400,000 more in a lifetime. And because of all the other statistics that tell us how much more successful students who commit to complete, who actually do complete their degree are, this is a campaign and initiative that asks students to do just that. They commit to completing either their core work or to actually commit to complete an associate's degree. All right, and uh, I know that you just got this rolling. Uh, let's talk about uh, the numbers you have so far as you try to get this organized. Well, we kicked this off on the Corinth campus last week, the day before Election Day, and we actually tied it in to a commitment to community and also encouraged students to get out and vote. And so we started with a small group of about 20 students from Corinth, and they all committed, and we are going to continue to move the campaign among our various campuses. All right, and, and again, I want to make sure that everybody understands that uh, this is not just something limited to here on the Gainesville campus. It is system-wide for NCTC. It is system-wide. We do have a brand new campus in Flower Mound. We'll be holding the campaign on that campus as well. We have some faculty members going to our Graham campus today for a lecture, and they'll be doing the campaign there today. So we're moving among all of our campuses and getting our students excited about this. 
right. Why? Uh, let's let's ask another why question. Why get involved with Committed to Complete? Well, so many of our students come to the community college and they're not sure exactly what they want to do long term. Maybe they've just graduated from high school. They know that they need to get a college education. They know the statistics that tell them that um, they're going to be more successful if they get that degree. But sometimes they don't really know particularly what career they want to pursue. And so if they can make a commitment to completing at least an associate's degree, we know that they're much more likely to go on to complete their bachelor's degree. Do you have, I don't want to put you on the spot here, do you have any numbers or generalities uh, percentage-wise of those that do go on to complete? What we do know is that um, unemployment for community college graduates is typically 30% lower than for high school grads. And what we do know is that we do have those great partnerships with local colleges here, as I mentioned before, particularly Austin College and Sherman, and so many of our students go to Texas Women's and UNT. So the kind of agreements that we have with those schools through the honors program and through Phi Theta Kappa, these colleges know that students that are involved in these programs are much more likely to do well at the four-year degree. As a matter of fact, studies also show that students who started community college are actually more likely to complete their four-year degree and to be successful in completing their four-year degree. So community college is a great uh, starting place for students. Yeah, and success is the ultimate goal after all, not just a, a university degree, but success beyond college. True, it is. Well, we want our students to be successful in whatever area. And so, you know, at NCTC we have technical programs and academic programs. So there's some students who know they want to be an LVN, or they want to go into nursing, or they want to work in welding, or they, they want to work in a particular career. And so we want to help them to maybe first identify what would be a good career for them and then help them to meet that goal. All right. Now, uh, for a student that uh, maybe is uh, coming out of high school at the end of uh, tw uh, 2013, 2012, 2013 school year, and they're hearing this and they're thinking, hey, I, I want to get involved, how do they do that? What do they need to do? Well, I'd love to talk to anyone who'd like to be involved in honors, RPTK, or our Commit to Complete. And they can contact me by email, jswarner at nctc.edu. They can also go on the college website, www.nctc.edu backslash honors and look at the honors program and look at the opportunities that we have for our honors students. We do a lot of really fun events. We do a lot of cultural events. We went to the state fair this year. We went, just got back from the Sixth Floor Museum. So we do a lot of community building around the honors students and Phi Theta Kappa and our students really enjoy that connection. Quickly, in, in the couple of minutes we have left, uh, Jill, tell us a little bit about uh, just your recollections of, of some comments or some uh, sentiments or feelings that have been expressed from students that have been involved with the honors program in the past. I think um, it's probably a student who actually works full time at Peterbilt in Denton, and, and she's a mom of two students, and she really wanted to do honors, and she didn't know if she'd have the time commitment. So many of our students do work full time and have families, and they're probably Many of them are capable of honors, but they're scared of the, the time commitment. And she summed it up by saying, she, you know, sometimes she'd be sitting in an honors course or working on an honors project, and she wouldn't know at that specific time how it was going to benefit her until she had completed it. Until she completed the program, she really couldn't fully understand how much more she had gained and how much more she had learned from the program. Well, uh, that's excellent. It's great because, uh, you know, I think there are people sometimes that get involved, and this is my opinion, in these programs, really not sure when they start what they're going to derive from the program. And isn't it wonderful when they get to the end how they feel about themselves and what they've accomplished? It's wonderful to see. Uh, one of my favorite students in the program right now is from Whitesboro, and um, she's a very successful hairstylist there, but she decided she wanted to come back and either go into nursing or nutrition. And it's just been amazing to see the progress that she's made and, and the leaps and bounds that she's made. And I know she's going to do great things in the world of nutrition, so I'm very excited for her. All right. She is Jill Swarner with the NCTC Honors Program. Jill, one more time, give us your contact information if folks are interested in the Honors Program. My name is Jill Swarner, and my email address is jswarner at nctc.edu, and I'd love to hear from anyone who's interested. Very good. Glad to have you on the program today.